the Arkansas River for the FLW Collegiate Series. We got Reese over here driving. Uh, yeah. We just came off our last tournament from last weekend, the smaller uh, Arkansas Trail Series, and it's our first tournament ever. We actually got the dub, so we're all a couple clips. the boat back there old sherry she's good other guys up front here rolling with us We've got about three hours left we're staying in uh downtown little rock tonight so uh, we'll see y'all in the water tomorrow morning All right, what's up guys? Uh, we're actually back in the room, back in Texas. Uh, we had, uh, while we were on the water, actually we did a very bad job of giving y'all updates on how we caught our fish. So we're just gonna do a quick voiceover as the video uh, goes on, uh, kind of explaining how we caught our fish. All right guys, so uh, we pulled up on our first spot here. Uh, it was a little current break uh, on this lay down tree. Uh, I looked at it when we were fishing these docks and I just knew there had to be fish on it. So we pull up there and then cracked one. But fortunately it was not a keeper but it was the first goodbye to the day. Oh, no, you gotta do it. Oh shit. All right, so after that last fish, uh, I started picking up a square bill, started winding it throughout the tree, um, and I throw this cast straight across the base of this tree, um, and then a little catfish comes up and hits it. Um, I thought it was a good, good keeper, but it turned out to be a little catfish. <laughs> Not what you want. All right, so after just catching one keeper in the last spot, uh, we moved to a creek where we caught one keeper and shook off a bunch during practice and I uh, started so pick up a shaggy head just had a feeling this would uh, get me bit and uh, I got a little bite and I caught it and uh, but it, it didn't keep it right. What's up with first cast today? Little guy. All right, so we're still on the same rocky bank. We're still getting bit. As you see there, I got bit. He was swimming with it, and he took my whole crawl. So I cast it back in there. Got him this time. But this one was not a keeper.
guys a uh, little midday update uh, we got four in the box right now we had uh, a fifth keeper uh, but I hooked her in the gills so we had to release her pretty quick um, but we think we can get another one off this bank Marcotte a good two two and a quarter uh, on a Texas rig swimming it out right here so uh, we're gonna keep plugging at it and see if we can't get a fifth one see ya Let's go. All right guys, so uh, we ended up coming out of that creek with uh, four fish for a limit for about uh, six pounds. Uh, we were coming down river and we saw a barge coming down. So it was 12 o'clock, weigh-in was at three, and uh, the barge was about seven miles out from the lock. So uh, we were kind of trying to figure out what to do, if we we're gonna lock before the barge or after if we had time. So uh, we ended up pulling over at one of our spots in the morning and we had the craziest fish catch of like ever yeah. <laughs> and uh so we pull up to this spot and uh we're still trying to figure out if we're locking down or not we're trying to figure out if anybody's called the lock master so uh, we pull up to this spot and uh, i flip in there <clears throat> a little rage uh like structure bug and uh i'm just working it you know i'm kind of hopping off this rocky bank and i get smashed so I set the hook, I'm like, dang, that's a good one. Reese gets the net, nets it, two, two and a quarter pounder. Yeah. And we're freaking out, you know, we finally got a limit, you know, it's pretty good for the Arkansas River. Reese throws a spinnerbait in there, and then tell him, dude. The next cast, I throw a spinnerbait, Mark's still getting the fish, culling the last one, and I just get hammered. My whole rod loads up, I think I have a giant, so I'm freaking out, Mark's <laughs> freaking out. He gets the net, and in like five minutes, we went from six pound to ten pound, and it is freaking awesome. So yeah, so we cold, we got a limit, and we cold and two casts, and uh, it was, we were so excited. So we decided that it was time to lock down now. So we head down to the lock, we throw the troll motor up, and uh, <clears throat> we get down there. And there's a couple boats. They're all like on the phone with everybody trying to figure out if uh, we're gonna be able to lock or not. So we sit in this lock, uh, waiting for him to open the door for like 30 minutes, and finally the lock master uh, talked to the barge, and the barge said that. He would wait for us to lock down. So uh, we had about we had we had 10 pounds in the live well. We were talked to our buddy and he said that it was probably going to be enough to qualify. So we ended up locking down on time with about an hour left of fish, but we didn't get to we didn't catch any more keepers or anything. So we headed in to weigh in with 10 pounds to see if we qualified. Going up here, uh, back to the uh, Mark and Reese. Mark and Reese. You guys both pressure. That's awesome, good. Great to see you guys. Look at here, you guys are sliding right in there. 10 pounds and 2 ounces for Dallas Baptist University. Go ahead and hold some up for the crowd. 10 pounds, 2 ounces. That's going to put you in the top 5 right there. 10 2, slide it to the, uh, there you go, the leaderboard. It's going to put them in fifth place right there. Right now, on the bubble is 8, eight pounds, 2 ounces. 8 2 is right now the bubble. 8 2. There you go, hold on. guys so y'all just saw us weigh in we ended up in seventh place and they take the top 10 to the national championship so me and reese are going to harris chain 2020 february for the national championship we'll see y'all on the next episode at lake sam raymond